little day trip I'm going up to see my son Michael and his other half Nicola it's going to take me about three and a half hours to get there don't think there's any traffic I might stop on the way but I haven't decided yet depends how the road goes right here we go I've been driving for about two hours I've got to Beaconsfield services and I've just stopped off for a bite of breakfast because I got really hungry and I'd had enough of driving for a while so I've stopped in and I've got a Greg's porridge which looks very nice so I'm on the M40 in the services here oh this is really gloopy um, so I think I've got about another two hours to go something like that maybe just under but traffic's not too bad I did have a couple of little hiccups but yeah not too bad looking forward to getting there I hate driving I hate driving oh porridge that keep going another little stop as I was starting to feel tired so I'm halfway between Bista and I'll put a little picture up to show you where I am but I've stopped again because I felt like I needed it so I'm going to get out and I'm going to go for a little walk around the services and then get back on the road. I've only got about another hour and a half to go but I'm really starting to struggle because I'm not used to driving but hopefully even if I've got to stop a couple more times better be safe than sorry hey. So. I just want to get there. Right, so maybe I've lived under a rock for the last I don't know how many years, but I'm in the car park in the service station and they're washing machines in the car park in the water. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? I've arrived, yay! Went wrong a couple of times, but I've got here. Finally made it. They've done a lot of work on the house already. In the little garden there. Done so much work. So just gonna go in and say hello. So I've arrived with Michael and Nicola. All I want is a glass of wine, no bottle opener. Michael is going to remove this with a screw. Treasure Island and you can see where it's all been flooded down here it was all the way up to the end up there but the levels have gone down quite a bit now but it's a really really nice day see under there through to the park as well that's all flooded but it's a really lovely day just walking down to the River Seven some fast moving water down here. Right, let's have a little look. Wow. Look at that. Just walked a little bit further up and there's some lovely boats, look at that. With the blue skies. This needs a bit of a clean up I think. But how beautiful. 
What a lovely day for a walk. Just a load of locks. It's so cool. Oh my goodness! Can we walk on this? <laughs> and she's off. Just come out for the day with Michael and Nicola. Come to a little place called Views, I think, that all the flood defences are up because all of this flooded. So all along here, you can see over here, it's still very fast running. But at least the water's subsided now. So we're going to take a little walk up to the village and go and have a little walk. We've just 
just come along to Beaudley Museum and it's free entry. So we thought, come and have a look. There's some beautiful gardens here. The crocuses as I have, the sun is shining. I can actually feel the sun. It's warm. It's really nice. What a wonderful day.